Hi friends. Hope you are all good. Welcome to the new episode of my channel. This time let's go international. We are going to Myanmar this time. Do you heard of the particular area called Bagan in Myanmar? So let's go and check it out. How it is? This is a Buddhist temple located a town near Bagan in Myanmar. A prototype of Burmese stupas. It consists of a circular gold leaf glided stupa surrounded by smaller temples and shrines. Ilominlo Temple is a Buddhist temple located in Bagan, built during the reign of King Tilominlo. The temple is three-story tall with a height of 46 meter and built with red brick. It is also known for its elaborate plaster moldings. The Ananda Temple is one of the Bagan's best known and most beautiful temples. A local legend tells the story of the foundings of Ananda Temple. Towards the end of 11th century, eight monks from India visited Bagan. They were granted an audience by King Kinjitta. The monks told the king about a legendary cave temple in the Himalaya mountain and created a vision for the king to see the temple and the snowy landscape. The story and vision left the king very impressed and the king had the architect build that particular temple. It is said, after the Ananda temple was completed, the king had the architects executed to make sure anything like it could never be built again. The Lokananda Pagoda is a beautiful golden pagoda on top of a small hill on the banks of Irrawaddy River. Its name translates to Joy of the World in ancient Pali language. The pagan king had managed to acquire a Buddha tooth relic from the king of Sri Lanka. When the relic arrived by boat, the king waded into the waters of the Irrawaddy River to welcome the relic. Initially, the relic was enshrined in the royal palace until a pagoda to hold it was built. The Nagayan built by Kyansitta foreshadows his crowning achievement, the Ananda. There are the same sloping ropes, the same terraces, the same corner stupas, same spire, but there are here used in a much more subsided manner than in the Ananda. The Mingala Jedi is the last of the large temples built in Bagan before the Mongol armies led by Kublai Khan invaded the kingdom, which led to the end of the Bagan Empire. The pagoda is a late period Bagan style symmetrical structure about 40 meters high. The terraces contain a set of glazed terracotta plaques with depiction from the Jataka tales. With a height of 55 meters, the Godapolin is the second tallest temple on the plains of Bagan. The temple was completed during the reign of King Tilomenlo in the early 13th century. With a height of just over 60 meters, the Tatbionu Pagoda is one of the highest monuments of Bagan. The majestic pagoda towering above other nearby temples and pagodas is visible from much of the Bagan plains. The Tatbionu is one of the first two-story structure built in Bagan. The Sulemani is a large, very elegant, multi-story structure from the late Bagan period. The architectural style has many similarities with that of the Tilomenla temple which was built a few decades later. The Sulemani is two-story structure with a square layout.
The Damangi is the largest temple on the plains of Pagan. From a distance, it resembles the early steppe pyramids of Egypt. The enormous structure that was never completed consists of a massive square base topped by six residing terraces. That's all for this episode. Thanks for your precious time for watching my video. If you like the video and want to get more videos like this, please give a like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get all the future notification about my freshly created video. So until next episode, bye. Thank you.